With some of the streets finally cleared up, today is the first day that Moscow officials are allowing volunteers to come in and help clean up the debris. I got recently laid off from work and I just couldn't see sitting around and doing nothing, you know. Not with so much work to be done, following Friday's F3 tornado, huge trees trashed the roofs of buildings, sheds were flung off their foundations, siding stripped from houses now litters the yards. And that's just one corner of Moscow. Literally, it was the wrath of God. How much work is it going to take to get this place back? It's going to take a lot of work, you know. I mean, it's, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. But longtime resident Kent Jones says Moscow will rebuild. Oh, I'll be back. I have determination. Part of the rebuilding process stems from generosity. Local families have filled the River of Life church basement with emergency supplies. We're trying to get as much in here as we can. They're stocked with baby food and blankets, underwear and tools, everyday basics to give victims a fresh start. You wouldn't believe it's the things they're doing, it's outstanding. Lois Freeman lost everything on Friday. I've had these clothes on for four days. After stopping at the church, she will finally get a chance to change. I found some coats and some things for my husband. What do you need? I have my grandchildren and my family, so that's it. In Moscow, Tiffany Wilson, Local 12 News.